Welcome to this Excel tutorial, where we'll uncover the strategies for retrieving the active cell address in your spreadsheets. Join us as we navigate through two distinct methods, a formula-based approach utilizing the address function, and a hands-on VBA solution. Let's embark on this journey of enhancing your Excel proficiency by mastering the art of pinpointing the active cell address. Let's start with the first method, employing a formula based on the address function to precisely determine the active cell address. To dynamically fetch the active cell address, we'll leverage the power of the address function. Simply enter the formula in a cell, equals address, row, column. You just need to select a cell and make it as active cell, then enter this formula into the formula bar, press enter key on your keyboard. You would notice that the address of active cell is returned. This formula dynamically updates to display the address of the currently selected cell. The row and column functions dynamically retrieve the row and column numbers of the active cell, providing an accurate cell address. Now, let's explore the second method utilizing VBA code for a more hands-on and automated approach to retrieve the active cell address. For a more programmatic solution, we turn to VBA. Right-click on the Sheet tab in your worksheet, and select View Code from the pop-up menu list. And the Microsoft Visual Basic for Application window will appear. Or you can directly press Alt plus F11 to launch the VBA window. Type the following code into the code window. Then click Save button to save it. Close VBA window and back to your worksheet. You can try to click or select one cell. The cell address of active cell is shown in cell B2. This method provides a flexible and automated way to obtain the active cell address in Excel. If these methods proved valuable in your Excel endeavors, consider subscribing for more insightful tutorials. Dive deeper into spreadsheet mastery with our content, and don't hesitate to share your thoughts or questions in the comment section. Stay tuned for additional Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.